back here in North Carolina. North Carolina House Bill 246 is currently in limbo, and what happens with it will affect how you get your prescription medications. The House passed it over a year ago and then passed a first reading in the Senate, but lawmakers referred it to the Rules Committee, and it has been there since May of 2023. And locally owned pharmacies want that bill to pass, so big companies can't dictate where you get your prescriptions filled. Fox 8's Cassie Fambro has been digging into this story and joins us here in the studio tonight. So Cassie, what's the status quo? Well, Katie and Natalie, right now, if I'm insured by insurance company A and insurance company A says I can only get my prescriptions mailed to me or I can only go to one certain chain, that's what I've got to do. I can't get it filled wherever I want. For example, at a locally owned pharmacy. We want to our community to have the same pharmacy experience that we had when we were growing up. Pharmacist Keith Vance and his wife opened Louisville Pharmacy in 2005 with an emphasis on the personal touch. Where the pharmacist uh, knew you, you could come, when you walked in the door, they called you by name and they didn't know just about your health conditions, but they knew about your family, your dog, and, you know, and, and, the, and just being a big part of uh, the community. Vance says the impact of pharmacy benefit managers is hurting local pharmacies like his, often referred to by the acronym PBM. PBMs are the middleman between pharmacies, insurance companies, and drug makers. PBMs are currently kind of the shadowy part of the healthcare system. They determine which drugs are covered by insurance, how much patients pay out of pocket, and payments to pharmacies. A patient may pay, you know, X amount of dollars one month, and they come in the next month, they may pay, end up paying two X. The three largest PBMs are probably familiar to you. CVS Health with Caremark, Cigna with Express Scripts, and United Health with OptumRx. As you can see, there's a lot of overlap. Therefore, a company like CVS Caremark is more likely to make you only use CVS pharmacies. Pharmacy benefit manager is basically an extension of an insurance company. David Price at Stanleyville Pharmacy says with so much of the market dominated by those big PBMs, it's cutting out the little guy. We just simply aren't paid enough to even cover the cost of a lot of drugs anymore. House Bill 246 would ensure patients can still pick their own pharmacies and give the State Department of Insurance the authority to enforce rules on PBMs, as well as mandating fair reimbursement for all pharmacies, not just for the ones owned by the PBMs. Senator Phil Berger, our uh, uh, Senate President Pro Tem, and uh, Senator Rabin, um, the head of the Rules Committee, are the two people that have the power to move it to the floor. I'm just hoping that they'll do that. 92 independent pharmacies have closed in North Carolina since 2022 through April of this year. And on a larger scale, you've probably seen Walgreens closing 25% of its stores. They don't own a PBM, unlike CVS. We also reached out to Senator Berger's office to see if the bill might come to the floor, but we haven't heard back yet. Katie. 